Okay, this is great because finding the x-intercepts on these, on this one, no big deal. If we were to write this <coughs> in the old-fashioned equation style, y equals, instead of f of x, um, what's the value of y for all x-intercepts? Zero, right? Because on, uh, on a grid, if we had a line like this, this is the x-intercept, and the x value is the x, but the y value is always zero. I mean, e even if the line was over here, right? So the y values are always zero for all x-intercepts, which means that we can just replace this y with zero and solve from there. Here's the great news on this one is this one is factorable so we don't necessarily need the uh, completing the square stuff and what I get is a 2 and a negative 1 so I got 0 equals x plus 2 and x minus 1 and we're just solving for x so that we get 0 to make this statement true so x plus 2 can equal 0, so x equals negative 2. I did skip a step. And over here, x minus 1 equals 0, so x equals a positive 1. So the two intercepts, these are my x values. The x-intercept would be a negative 2, 0, and this one would be 1, 0.